Hello, welcome to this introduction to the Avnet Zinc Ultrascale Plus RF SOC development kit. So, the RF SOC development kit has been designed to enable system architects to explore the entire signal chain from the antenna to the digital baseband processing. And what this includes to, to allow us to achieve this is the Xilinx Zinc Ultrascale Plus RF SOC, MathWorks model based design tools, and a Quovo RF front end card. Now this combination enables system architects to use the RF SOC GigaSample data converters and perform analysis natively in MATLAB and Simulink using uh, Avnet's RF SOC Explorer. Now this combination allows us to prototype over the air transmissions using the Quovo 1800MHz RF data card. So what does the kit itself actually include? Now it comes with the Xilinx Zinc Ultrascale Plus RF SoC ZCU111 development board, the XM500 Ballon board, the Quovo 1800 MHz RF daughter card, multiband LTE stub antenna, the Avnet RF SoC Explorer which works with MATLAB and Simulink, and it also includes a free MATLAB trial package for wireless communications. So the RF Explorer from Avnet allows us to work with MATLAB and Simulink and it allows us to generate signal stimuli within MATLAB so we can create complex and real uh, CW wave tones, uh, we can load these in from custom uh, custom files and we can generate wireless waveform generation, we can generate LTE and 4G waveforms or maybe even 5G uh, new generation radio uh, signals and to support that 5G work there is the 5G toolbox from MathWorks as well, which allows us to simulate, uh, analyze, and test the physical layer of 5G communication systems. We can also analyze signals in both the time and frequency domains within the Avnet RF SOC Explorer. And then really importantly as well, we can control the RF data converters in MATLAB. So the RF data converters which are within the RF SOC, we can actually con we can actually control them thanks to this RF SOC Explorer, and that means that we can control the ADC and the DAC settings, settings for the interpolation and decimation, the mixer settings, and also the sampling rate. Now, all of this is con controlled and connected to the ZCU111 RF SOC evaluation board using a gigabit Ethernet link. So we have the the front end the, that allows us to do, to do the prototyping over the air is the Quovo 2x2 small cell RF front end. Now this operates at 1.8 gigahertz and it allows us to perform direct RF sampling. So there's no RF mixer as you take a look at the, uh, the simple block diagrams there you'll notice that there's no RF mixer. And we also have on this card we have a high efficiency linearizable power amplifier. So this card's been designed really uh, with industry leading RF components as well. So we have the TQL 1992 which is a really low noise flat gain um, amplifier. We have a really high high efficiency linearizable amplifier in the QPA 9903. We have the duplexer in the QPQ 1297 and of course we have the QPL 1996 which is a low noise amplifier. So it's a low noise bi-flat amplifier. We also have uh, in there as well, a 180 megahertz uh, passband for the digital pre-distortion obser observation. So, if you're not familiar with what comes with the with the Zinc uh, ZCU uh, 111, then we get the uh, XC ZCU 28 device on there, and this this device contains eight four gigasample per second 12-bit ADCs. 8 6 giga sample per second 14 bit DAX and also 8 soft decision forward error correction blocks the SD effects within the within the device as well. Now to support these ADCs and DAX and effects we have 4 gigabytes of DDR4 memory so this gives us this is ideal for large sample buffer storage and we also have onboard reference PLLs and RF PLLs to generate the necessary RF ADC and RF sample clocks. Now, we interface with the RF front end by using the two SAMTAC LPAF connectors which provide access to the RF ADC and the RF DAC, both clocking and data path signals. 
So I target applications really for this for this development kit. So if you're working in 3G, 4G or 5G uh, commercial wireless communications, then this is really a kit that can help you develop your heterogeneous small cells, work on your satellite communications or your software defined, software defined radio. If you're working in the aerospace and defense arena, then this RF SOC development kit can be help you generate your tactical radio solutions, mil satcoms and radios for, for cockpits and UAV control links. And of course we also have the test and met, this has been developed with test and measurement in mind. So if you're working with channel sounding or cellular testers, then the RF SOC development kit is also very useful. So if you'd like to know more about the RF SOC kit and actually purchase one or you purchase one and you want to get started then please take a look at the uh, link avnet.com forward slash rfsoc kit and we'll be able to get you going.